This video will demonstrate how to create a preventative maintenance job or recurring work order. Preventative maintenance jobs can be set to recur on a wide range of schedules, including weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. To create a preventative maintenance job, you can create a new work order to act as a template for the job you wish to repeat, or choose an existing work order for a job that will be recurring. To save time, I already have my work order created. If you are not sure how to create a work order, please watch our tutorials on creating a work order from a quote and creating a work order from a service call. Be sure the work order only has tasks and information that are to be repeated each time, as this work order will be duplicated. You can always add specific tasks or details later. To set the schedule for the preventative job, click on the scheduling tab and select Add or Remove Schedule. Select the length of time you wish to run the preventative maintenance. This is often based on the time period outlined in your service agreement. Then select how often you wish the task to repeat, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. To create a bi-weekly task, select weekly and then enter the number of weeks between recurring jobs and choose your preferred day of the week. To create a quarterly task, select monthly and choose every four months from the dropdown. You can enter which day of the month you would like the maintenance to be completed on. Once you have your schedule set, click Save and Close. You will now see your scheduled maintenance under the Scheduling tab. Be sure to save your work order when you are finished. If you wish to remove the scheduled maintenance, simply click the Add or Remove button under Scheduling. You will be prompted to remove the existing schedule. To view all scheduled projects, use the left-hand navigation to select the Work Orders module and click View Scheduled Projects. This list will show you the next work order for which preventative maintenance is scheduled. From this list screen, you can change the schedule by adding a delay or moving it to a specific date. A work order will automatically be created on the scheduled date, but you can create a work order earlier by clicking Generate Work Order. This concludes our tutorial on scheduling recurring work orders.